Do you want to know how you can make money with the NFL preseason online? Stay tuned as I walk you through all of the different ways that you can make money with the NFL this preseason. Hello YouTube, this is Austin. I hope you're doing well because I'm better than I've ever been classic and welcome to my channel where I discuss affiliate marketing, passive income, and making money online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to learn tips and tricks in affiliate marketing. All right, so you've come to my channel today to figure out how you can make some money online passively or at least semi-passively with the NFL preseason. It is July 16th and we know that NFL preseason is right around the corner. I'm actually going to use the Chicago Bears, the only NFL team that matters as an example. Uh, in this example, I am going to illustrate how you can make money passively uh, with affiliate marketing. And if you're not sure what affiliate marketing is, basically you are recommending a product or service to fulfill a need uh, that a customer or a potential customer has. I am here in Wisconsin. Uh, the Bears, their, their preseason, their training camp is down in Bourbon, Illinois. That's about, I would say, maybe like a three, three and a half, maybe four hour drive down uh, that's a long commute to be going back and forth every day. So what I'm going to do, if I were to go to the the preseason, the training camp, the mini camp, I would need to maybe rent a car to go down to Bourbonnet or Bourbonnet. Um, I would need somewhere to stay unless I'm renting an RV. Um, I would need a place to eat. And I would need some tickets to the preseason. Oh, let's not forget, I am going to watch the, the, the Bears play, so I'm going to probably want some merchandise, some Bears apparel, some Bears logo to show off my team spirit. There were at least four different ways in that little short story on how you can actually affiliate market with the NFL preseason. So let's talk about it. There is an affiliate program for renting cars. Um, I'll post it on the screen right here. So basically what you would do is you would create some kind of content, and, and as the uh, content creator, what I would recommend is create some type of relevant, rele, relevant content around the preseason. So for the Bears, uh, there are a number of, of small issues that are going on. What you could do is create a content ecosystem. So a number of uh, pieces of, of content, maybe uh, a few blog posts, a few YouTube videos, some uh, social media tweets, uh, posts, whatever, around a couple issues, things to focus on during the, the, the training camp and upcoming preseason. So then throughout your, your blog post, we'll say for example, or even your YouTube video, you recommend um, a, a, a rental car company or you even rep recommend a RV rental company. And if they click that link and they buy or rent the vehicle or the RV through your affiliate link, you get paid a commission. And just think about all of the people that are going to uh, be looking for different types of information around the Chicago Bears preseason. Maybe not all of them are going to want to go down to Bourbon A, but I would say maybe thousands will. And so those are opportunities that you could actually uh, affiliate market your product. So that's one way. You can use rental cars or rental RVs. When people get down there, they people that are going to Bourbon A, I keep wanting to say Bourbon A, people wanting to go down to Bourbon A are going to be looking at they're going to be Googling where to stay during Bears training camp. And you could actually create YouTube videos or blog posts answering that question. You could say, here are the five best places to stay or the five places closest to the um, Olivet Nazarene University where the Bears practice. Here are the five places or five closest places to stay. And then you provide a link to the hotel. As long as it's an affiliate link, you actually get a commission if they book a stay there. Or you could even use something like hotels.com. So that's yet another way that you could actually make some passive income. And believe me, this is uh, something that just about everyone's doing. If you click on a link and it takes you to Amazon, usually it's an affiliate link and someone's getting paid. The great thing about affiliate links is it does not increase or decrease the price at all. It's just paying someone for creating content and recommending a product or service. So just think about it. If you are a, a football fan, if you have a pretty good understanding of a team, you could even do you could even create content at a high level. So uh, you could say the 10 best teams going into the, the preseason or the 10, the 10 teams that need the most improvement or the 10 teams that have something, something to prove going into the preseason. And then you could create, a, again, an ecosystem around that. And so just think about that. If, that's, if this is making sense, if you, can, if you find this information helpful, if you think that there's a way that you can make some passive income with this, uh, I want you to like and subscribe and, and comment makes sense. But just think about uh, 
as we're getting ready for football, people are going to be craving content. They're going to be looking for information. So if you create a YouTube video, let's say, again, around the Chicago Bears and their kicking situation, you could take a look at all of the, their kickers in the past 25 years and all of their percentages and stats and kind of uh, digest that. And you could, you could do a YouTube video about it and then say, oh, by the way, if you want to buy a new, gear, new Bears merchandise, click the link in the description, and that'll take you to the NFLshop.com. NFLshop.com has an affiliate program where you could make passive income uh, recommending people do things that they're going to do anyway. We know that people are going to want to buy the newest gear if they're going down to Bourbon A. People are going to want the newest gear if they're getting ready for football season. Uh, think about all the different gears that you could recommend. You could recommend like cooking stuff, um, like um, utensils for cooking. You can get special grates that have the Bears logo, um, spatulas that have the Bears logo, um, um, little kiss the cook instead of says kiss the book cook it'll say like kiss the bear or whatever um there's just so much so many different ways that you could actually create content around just the nfl preseason and i haven't even talked about the games yet think about the games uh, okay so there are four games in the preseason people hate the games but they're a great way to take your family or your younger kids to the game so that they can get an experience of an NFL game. That's all they'll, they'll talk about are the games that they've gone to. But you can actually be an affiliate for the games, believe it or not. So Ticketmaster has an affiliate program. StubHub has an affiliate program. There are a number of programs out there. All you have to do is uh, just a little bit of research and you can actually set yourself up for now and even going forward. So now that you've created maybe the preseason, uh, you can actually follow the team or follow the storylines that you create throughout the entire season and continue to make passive income. So just think about all of those different ways that I've just mentioned in this brief video. I talked about um, rental cars, rental RVs, a hotel, so somewhere to stay. Um, we talked about tickets. Uh, we talked about you know, even uh, parking and, and things of that nature, to, if you're staying around Soldier Field, you're going to want a hotel there. So there are a number of different opportunities that you could actually do to take advantage of the preseason because as we see, I'm actually looking at Google Trends right now, it becomes incredibly popular right at the end of July. So if you start creating content today uh, around um, the NFL preseason, again, you could do your favorite team. You could do maybe like the uh, division. You could do a conference. You could even do the top 10 teams or the top 20 or even the bottom 10. It doesn't matter because you're just going to create helpful content that answers a question. So think about all the questions that NFL fans are going to ask because they haven't had NFL football in a number of years. Uh, as I mentioned with the Bears, there's a kicking situation. You could look at the, the stats over the last five years. You could talk about how, how the quarterback is going to progress, uh, uh, areas of the team that are, are ripe for regression. Basically, what you could do is you could listen to Sports Talk Radio for like three days coming up, and then you could create an ecosystem of content around your Sports Talk Radio. So instead of call, trying to call into Sports Talk Radio and argue with them, uh, you could actually create a YouTube video and just state everything that you're thinking. You could say, hey, no, I firmly believe that uh, Robbie Gold was never going to come here. And then you could just state your reasons why. You don't even, this is the beautiful thing about sports and the NFL preseason is you could actually go and read like ESPN.com. You could listen to Sports Talk Radio and take some notes and then just have that discussion with your microphone or with your camera like I'm doing now. Because people are craving content, they're going to find you or they can find you um, and, and they can, again, they can argue, you can, you can urge them to comment and argue with you on YouTube so that you can be, create that fan base and that following of people that are arguing with you. So just think about that. If, if this is making sense, uh, if, if you can see how you can make some passive income, uh, make sure that you comment below make sense. Uh, continuing on, the, you, uh, as I mentioned, you could actually uh, you could actually extend this into the regular season. You could extend this into the postseason. You could make this a real ongoing thing if you really wanted to, and it all just starts with the preseason. So uh, before I let you go, there are a couple links in the description that I want you to take a look at. The first link is to learn a little bit more about email marketing. If you are just getting started with affiliate marketing, know that email marketing is a vital component of affiliate marketing. The reason why a affiliate marketer wants to be good at email marketing is because email marketing actually converts at twice the rate of any other marketing type out there. So the faster that you learn and get better at email marketing, the more successful that you, the more successful you're going to be. The, the next link in the description 
is for a course called Project 24. Project 24 is a blogging course that'll help you replace your full-time income with passive income in 24 months. Now, obviously no business venture is guaranteed, but this is a great opportunity if you're looking to uh, find some passive income with blogging. Uh, with Project 24, the, the creators, course creators, have laid out 60 steps for you to find success. Now, don't be turned off by the 60 steps. Step number one is like, get a domain name. Step number two is get web hosting. It is very basic and very hand-holding-like to help you find the success that you're looking for. So that's number two. The third link in the description will take you to ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is the email marketing system that I recommend and I use. The reason why I like ClickFunnels is because it has everything that you need for email marketing on one site. It has the landing pages. You can create lead magnets. You can um, you can create autoresponders. And if you're not familiar with anything that I've just said, I urge you to click that ClickFunnels link. Uh, that ClickFunnels link will take you to a two-week free trial and it'll actually show you how to uh, get started with email marketing. So you can use the first link with the ClickFunnels to take your affiliate marketing game and email marketing game to the next level. So check out those three links. The first one is to a, a free guide for email marketing. The second one is to learn how to blog the right way if you want to use blogging for your content. Um, your content marketing, and the third link is to ClickFunnels. So check out those three links, and I'll see you in the next video.